Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint this watercolor black cap chickadee. I already have my drawing laid out on watercolor paper and I'm actually using some waterproof ink just to ink in the very small amount of detail of the eye as it's easier to work in such a small space with a uh, black pen and I'll go over that with more paint later on. I'm dropping in some clean water on the breast area here and then I'm getting started right away with a wet on wet wash with some paint and I'm starting with sort of a neutral gray that I've mixed up with some light red and ultramarine and that's going to help create shadows for the area of the chest or the breast of the bird that is white. So I'm going to leave some of that paper shining through as well and then I'll add in some brown and chestnut color to create the blended color of the bird. I'm going to move around the other areas as well and do the same. So for the white areas I'm dropping in grey and keeping some of that paper shining through as well. And as the paint spreads it looks a little bit rough and then you can see I go in with a clean damp brush and I lift out some of the paint and soften the edges while I do that as well. Now I'm working on the tail feathers and I've taken sort of a darker grey. I've added in um, some burnt sienna and paints grey to make a sort of a blackish brown. And again, this is wet on wet, so I've wet the paper first. I'm using a smaller brush and dropping in um, more color and kind of streaking it in following the way the tail feathers are stacked. Now I'm dropping in some clean water again, and I'm now working on the head, which is the black cap part of this black cap chickadee. They're one of my favorite birds. They're so sweet. Um, this is obviously enlarged. They're actually quite tiny in real life, but it's easier to paint a bit of a larger area. So I've got that ready to go and now I'm dropping in the black, which I've mixed with some darker gray and purple to create the darkest color. And that's wet on wet once again. Now I'm working on the back, um, just above the wings, and dropping in some mixes of dark grey and brown. I'm actually even going to use some blue in this mix. And it is a wet on wet wash, but I'm also um, sort of dropping and dragging the paint on in the direction and pattern of the wings and the back to give a little bit of shape and form while I do it. Now I'm adding some detail to the beak and a little bit more definition to the eye as well. While those other areas dry, I've gone in and just wet some of the small areas of the feet and adding in some of the sort of outlines, leaving some highlighted areas on the feet. Now the belly area of the bird has dried and I have wetted the area again with clean water and now I'm dropping in more of the gray 
and the chestnut color just deepen um, the tones and create a bit more form. Now that the head area is dried, I'm just adding in a little bit more texture with the gray um, to create some of the fluff and some of the sort of um, markings in and around the cheek and the eye of the bird. And just adding a little bit more fluff and texture to some of the areas right now. And this bird is pretty much finished. As you can see here in this picture, I've added some rose hips and leaves around the bird later on. And I added a little bit more detail um, after I'd returned back to the painting. Sometimes I do that, I give it a day or so. Um, so you could leave it as is or take it a little bit further as well and add in botanicals if you like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps and I'll post another video next weekend.